Welcome back to MLB Tonight. I'm Robert Flores here alongside with former GM Dan O'Dowd and baseball researcher Sarah Langs. MLB Draft Combine is coming up. It's always an exciting time. Dan, what can we expect? What are you going to be looking for? Well, Robert, for me, this is one of the most important events on the baseball calendar each and every year. If you look at it, all the clubs get a chance to answer the questions they have on the players. And then all the best players in the country get to showcase their skills in front of 30 clubs. So, I mean, I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen. Sarah, it's a four-day event. It's held at Chase Field in Phoenix. What advanced metrics can players and viewers expect to see? I mean, there's so much data with this event. Part of why I love it so much. And I've been there every time yep. this has been held. So glad we're back again. For pitchers, you've got pitch velocity, you've got spin rate, you've got extension. For hitters, we have your exit velocity, launching, and of course, the distance on those home runs. Well, congratulations and good luck to all the young athletes as they continue their journey to hopefully one day land in the big leagues. Welcome to day one of the MLB Draft Combine from Chase Field in Arizona. The top high school and college player prospects showcased their skills this week giving all MLB clubs another opportunity to evaluate this year's draft class. It should be an impactful few days here in the desert. Alongside Sarah Langs, I'm Dan O'Dowd, and it's time for batting practice. So let's focus on what's happening down in the cage. Sarah, BP started now, and uh, this is where the scouts really, really bear down. They're looking at presence in the box. They're looking at the balance rhythm and timing of the swings. They're looking at how clean a swing path is. They're looking how connected a player can be to a swing, and they're looking at the ability if they can hit the ball the entire field. And there's so much data that comes along with BP. We've got exit velocity, which means we can look at how often the player is hitting the ball hard. In the same age, hitting the ball hard has an actual definition. That's 95 plus miles an hour. And why do we care about that? Because in today's game, if you hit the ball hard, you're going to hit about 500 on those batting balls with a 1,000 slugging percent. Another set we'll look at is launch angle and what we define as a sweet spot batting ball. 8 to 32 degrees of launch angle, basically a line drive. So I'll be looking at how often these players will be making that kind of contact as well. You know, I think about big league players like uh, Alvarez, Judge, Otani, Trout. Um, their hard hit ball data is crazy. Their launch angles are very, very, very consistent. And you add all the things that we're evaluating and think about, Sarah, the pressure these young players are under right now. It's probably the most pressure-packed BP these players have ever taken in their careers. This was a tough round of BP. You can almost see from the very first swing that uh, he was outside of himself, trying to do too much, a lot of lift and separation swings, trying to hit for power, not trying to stay within himself. Again, these are the nerves and pressure of the moment, and this will be a great learning experience. So we're now into outfield play. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite parts of the combine. Um, scouts look at this from a variety of different perspectives. They're looking at breaks and angle to the ball, uh, which is crucial uh, for above average defensive play. This part of the drill, we're looking at how, how quickly they get to the ball, how under control they are, and the strength of their throws and the accuracy of the throw. Deep down scouting perspective, they're really trying to see the spin on the ball how clean it is, and so they can get that one-hop throw into third base and home plate. No, I'm with you. I'm loving this. There's so many different ways to evaluate outfield defense in today's game. Of course, we can measure that arm strength. We can look at that accuracy of those throws, as you were saying. We can also measure speed, which is such an important part of playing the outfield. 
If you're not fast enough in the outfield to get to that ball, everything else is moot. So we can really measure all different aspects of playing the outfield. And when you, you look at some of these players and then you think about the great right fielders, which is the arm strength position in our game, you the average. Uh, did everything well, nothing exceptionally well. Very, very projectable kid, very projectable body. I think every part of his defensive play can take another step in professional baseball with the right instruction and his discipline and his want to to be the very best offensive player he can be. Welcome to day two of the MLB Draft Combine at Chase Field in Arizona. I'm Ben Gelman, and today we'll get to see some of the brightest prospects out there go head to head and put their skills on display to boost their draft stock. We're just about ready to. Pereira getting ready to hit. Nobody on, nobody out. Two runs scored already in the inning. And we're just getting going here in the top of the first. Popped in the air, left field. Foul ball there. Hey, find a gap, kid. Find a gap. In the air to center, pretty deep. Two, two, two. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Runners at the corner posts hey, with two away. These tournament games are, of course, just a part of the larger picture here at the Combine. Drills and assessments measure each player's fitness, strength, agility, and on-field performance, as well as other skills. Base hit into center field. The tying run is hitting. Back here in the desert, on to the next inning, and now at the plate, Greg Duke. Drive along the left field line, fair ball. Makes the turn, heads for second base. Here's the throw. And he's out, trying for two. An aggressive bit of base running there as he went for the double, but it cost him as he got thrown out. So clear. Swings and misses, and that's the ball game. It's day three of the MLB Draft Combine here in Arizona. Another chance for these young prospects to impress in a high-stakes environment. I'm Ben Gelman, and we're just about set for today's games to begin. We're back here at the ballpark, and now, Devin Brown. You. Here we go. That one is absolutely pummeled. Could be two, maybe more. Me, 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 me. 
but holds up at first. Good play out there to cut it off. Page will hit next. Pitch. Three straight foul balls. Fights it off, we'll see another. And that one is foul, we'll try again. Hard hit, left side. Run it out, run it out! There with plenty Keep of time. Out. Inning over. So another good inning on the... One out and two on. Next up, the designated hitter, Corey Dow. Be patient. Hey, like up there, huh? two, Grounder two, might two, be two. two. Fires to second for out. one. Throw to first, Be's but safe. not in time. Hello and welcome to day four of the MLB Draft Combine from the desert. I'm Ben Gitted in the air, left field. Dives, but it kicks off the glove. Around third. Safe, he beats the tag. And a 2-1 ball. Runner at first, nobody out. Swing and a foul straight back. Let's go right here. Bounce to third. Franco. There's one. They get two. Two outs, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, two down. Two outs and nobody aboard. Laser to third, but handled well. That ends the inning. Offense held in check here. Wait for a good one, We're huh? back here at the ballpark. Now the left fielder, Pick Devin Brown. And there's a strike. Oh, and one. This one in the air to right, trying to get to it. Makes the catch for the out. Between the team's loss and his own performance, definitely a frustrating game. Just can't dwell on it. With the 14th pick of the 12th round, the Atlanta Braves select Devin Brown, a left fielder from the East Region.
All right, so another player that we saw at the MLB Draft Combine off the board in the middle rounds of this year's draft. What's the reaction here to this pick, starting with you, Sarah? Well, this player had a pretty good combine, but not the absolute best we've ever seen. I think there were some questions, but there's a lot of metrics that show there will be upside here. So I'm very excited to see how this player progresses through the minors. Yeah, I agree with Sarah completely, Robert. Uh, there are some question marks, but I do see upside. What I also see is a really good floor for this individual player. And, you know, guys with good floors sometimes end up being some of the better players that come out of the draft.